mythic presentation, you've got to understand what Glenn Beck really believes. Without understanding that, he just sounds like a harmless guy who might be off his rocker a little bit, but a, a nice guy. Glenn Beck is more dangerous than George Soros ever will be, and I'm going to tell you why today on this edition of Live Prayer. What problems are you dealing with in your life right now? Do you feel like giving up? Times are hard and you're not strong. Well, I know the answer for you. And it will lead to the truth. Don't look back to yesterday. Now there are answers. Welcome to Live Prayer. It's waiting there. Here's your host, Bill Kelly. You can make it through. There is a and welcome to Live from Bill Keller. It's good to have you with me on this Friday as we wrap up another week of programming. We're glad you're with me. As today, we're going to look at the man I call the spiritual puppet master, Glenn Beck. I know there's a lot of people think, oh, he's a nice man. He loves God. He loves his country. He's a patriot. He, uh, he, t he teaches people things that we don't know. And Yeah, well... Until you understand what Glenn Beck believes and what motivates him, and you understand the layer on top of Glenn Beck that everything else comes from, you not only don't really understand Glenn Beck, you really don't understand his message, and most of all, you have no clue how dangerous this man is. You know, Jesus said, don't worry about the man who can kill your body. Worry about the man who can kill your soul. And that's why, as bad a man as atheist George Soros may be, Glenn Beck makes him look like a choir boy. This is a message you really need to hear. And don't forget, every day's programs are on our website. Of course, I'm Bill Keller, founder of LivePrayer.com, the world's largest interactive Christian website. We reach a little over 2.4 million people a day, and I'd invite you to come to our website, liveprayer.com. On that left menu bar is a link called Devotion, I'm, I'm sorry, Show Archives, Show Archives. And there we keep the most recent five TV programs available for on-demand viewing. This is a program you probably need to go back and rewatch. You need to go back and have your friends watch because it is critical that people understand exactly who Glenn Beck is and what his real, ultimate motivations truly are. This is no joke. And as dangerous as you may think a guy like George Soros is, he may be dangerous to your, to your bank account. He may be dangerous to the stability of the nation. I'm not going to argue that for a second. I'm telling you today, Glenn Beck is dangerous to your soul. Now, before we get into that, I want to give you a quick update. Next week, we will have the official announcement of our new permanent location at the 9-11 Christian Center. As you know, we, ha we were ready to announce that this week. We had a deal in kind. We were waiting for the lawyers to finish with the leases, and the owners called up and canceled the deal right at the end of the process for the simple fact that they had been receiving phone calls from people of Muslim descent basically saying that they were going to blow up the building, they were going to picket the building, and the owners, quite frankly, just didn't want the media there. They didn't want the pickets there. And they certainly didn't want the potential of having their building blown up. So we are, we were afraid something like this could happen. So we had been working on an alternative location. We should have that tied down this weekend. So we're excited. And of course, I'll be going up to New York again this weekend for this Sunday's uh, weekly service, 11 a.m. at the New York Marriott, which is at 85 West Street, right by Ground Zero, 11 a.m., We've been meeting there every Sunday since September 5th. We'll till the end of the year uh, when we then open our permanent center on January 1st. So we're excited. All right. You know, before I do anything else, though, I've got, I, I was getting ready to go to our break. But before I do that, I prepared a very short vision video of the 9-11 Christian Center Ground Zero. It's a few minutes long. But it really lays out what this is all about. And I want you to take a minute right now and just watch it because I think it's very instructive. And I really hope as many people as possible catch this vision because it's not just a vision for saving souls in New York City at Ground Zero but a vision for revival 
and a vision for turning this nation literally back to God and God's truth. Watch it. I'll be right back. I'm Bill Keller, founder of LivePrayer.com. Recently, it was publicized that the Muslims would be building a mosque at Ground Zero. Let me make sure you understand that this was a purposeful and premeditated act. This is not an accident. They already have many mosques in New York City. This was done in a very well-orchestrated way. This mosque at Ground Zero will be a memorial to the greatest triumph of Islam in 1400 years, 9-11, 2001, when their Muslim brothers flew those planes into the World Trade Center towers. More of their Muslim brothers went into the Pentagon. Others headed to the Capitol were courageously ditched in the fields in Pennsylvania. But make no mistake about it, this mosque at Ground Zero is a memorial to the greatest triumph of Islam in 1400 years. It will be a place where they will teach this generation, future generation of Muslims, how to hate this nation, how to turn this nation into a Muslim land, which is their ultimate goal. They will teach people Sharia law, the law that Islam is governed by all over the world. What is our response as Christians? I thought and prayed hard about this. I decided that why hold another rally, another protest march, that a few hours after it over, it was over, everybody would go home and forget about it. Nothing would change. I realize there are many great efforts to try to stop this mosque from being constructed. And while I pray they're effective, and while I pray that they will be successful, in my heart of hearts, I know that the Muslims, with their massive amounts of money, will be ultimately victorious. This mosque will be built. We don't need another protest. What we need is a bold, visible response to what the Muslims are about ready to do at Ground Zero. That response is the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. We aren't going there with swords. We're going there with the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is like Elijah on that wonderful day where he invited the prophets of Baal to Mount Carmel and said, let's see whose God answers by fire. Today, I issue that same challenge to Imam Faisal Raul, the imam of the Ground Zero Mosque. You bring your false god, I'll bring the god of the Bible, and we'll see which god answers by fire. Phase one, we will hold services every Sunday, starting September 5th at 11 o'clock through the end of the year at the New York Marriott, right by Ground Zero. As of January 1st, we'll move into our permanent facility at Ground Zero, where we will hold evangelistic meetings seven days a week. We will have a special 9-11 memorial prayer room for visitors to Ground Zero and those who work in the financial district, those who live in, in that area to come and pray. I know that as time goes on, the Muslims will try to silence me. They will try even to kill me. But the gospel won't be stopped. And I need you to help me. I need you to stand with me. Many people are outraged by what is about ready to happen at Ground Zero. And people say, how can my voice be heard? You can stand with me and the 9-11 Christian Center. Go to my website, liveprayer.com. On the left menu bar, click on the donation link. There is a secure server there where you can give via a major credit card, you can give via PayPal, or you can just drop a check to our corporate headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. You can take a stand against this mosque, a meaningful stand, a stand that not only is going to, is going to drown out the lies of Islam, but it's going to lead souls to faith in Jesus Christ. I believe it's going to spark a revival in the city of New York, and I believe it's going to turn this nation back to God and His truth. Please, stand with me today. Your voice can be heard. You can make a difference. The 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero is the answer. this mosque and for this nation. 
I'm Bill Keller. That's the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. Please, if you're going to be in New York between now and the end of the year, come see us on Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. love to meet you. All right, we got our first break of the morning. I want you to watch this message very carefully. And then when I come back, I'm going to tell you who Glenn Beck really is and what he's really about and what his real message truly is. Don't want to miss this. I'm Bill Keller of Live Prayer. I need your help. God has challenged me to open the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. This is a response to the new mosque that's being built within a block of the where the World Trade Center towers used to stand. The Muslims are spending $110 million to build this mosque. God said to me to go put a Christian Center within a block of Ground Zero, and that's what we're doing. We're going to open the center on Sunday, September 5th. I'll be flying personally to New York to hold those services every Sunday till the end of the year. And then starting January 1st, the center will literally be open 24-7. We'll hold evangelistic services there every day. We'll have a special 9-11 memorial prayer room so that those who come to New York City to visit that hallowed ground will have a place to come and meditate, pray, and just spend some quiet time. This is a great undertaking. I can't do this alone. I need your help. To give a gift to the 9-11 Christian Center, you can go to liveprayer.com. Click on the donation link on the left menu bar. There you will find a secure server so you can make a gift with your major credit card or you can give via PayPal. Or if you want to just drop a check to us, that's great. You can send that to our headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. That address is on your screen in the information line of your check, just put 9-11 Christian Center, and your gift will go to this great undertaking. Islam is a 1,400-year-old lie from hell. The audacity of the Muslims to build a center in the shadows of the, where the trade center towers that their Muslim brothers knocked down, killing 3,000 innocent people, is a travesty. People are upset. I'm upset, but we're taking action. Sunday, September 5th, we will put our faith to the test as we open the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. I need your help. I need your prayers. I need your support. Thank you. God bless you. Welcome back to Live Prayer. You know, recently Glenn Beck did a uh, series on his radio and TV programs about the man he called the puppet master, George Soros. Kind of funny because those who follow Live Prayer and my daily devotions, devotionals will know that I wrote about George Soros. He, a person I, Glenn Beck, recently did a series on his TV and radio programs on what he called the puppet master, George Soros. Well, today this program is going to be on the man I call the spiritual puppet master, Glenn Beck. To understand Beck's apocry- 